So, Samsung looked at the tablet market in 2025, sipped their coffee, and said, Let's shake things up, but not too much. The Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra is here to prove that sometimes refinement can be just as exciting as revolution, but does it live up to the hype, or is it just a Tab S10 Ultra in a slightly fancier suit? Today, we're going hands-on, or as hands-on as leaks will allow, with every major change, every design tweak, and a few eyebrow-raising strategy shifts that Samsung has in store for this year's tablet. Line up. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly whether to start saving or keep scrolling. Recent leaks have given us a genuine peek, and not the blurry potato camera kind, at the entire Galaxy Tab S11 lineup. The Ultra steals the spotlight with its water drop. Style notch, holding a single front camera and surrounded by impressively thin bezels, it's clean. It's sleek, and it's very Samsung in 2025. Meanwhile, the standard Tab S11 seems to be sticking closely to the Tab S9's blueprint. The real surprise, there's no plus model this year. Instead, Samsung's throwing in a Tab S11 Lite, perfect for budget-conscious buyers. Who still want that premium Samsung feel without selling a kidney? Here's where it gets interesting. Samsung has ditched the dual front cameras on the Ultra Dot in previous models. You got that wide, ultra-wide versatility. Now, it's just one, higher quality lens, possibly with a wider field of view or an upgraded sensor. Some will cheer the cleaner design, others, especially video conferencing addicts or vloggers, might mourn the loss, Apple went the other. Way with the iPad Pro, adding more front cameras, Samsung, they're basically saying, one's enough. Thank you. No wild color experiments here, both the standard and ultra come in silver and gray, specs-wise. The base model packs 12GB RAM, while the top-tier 1TB storage option gets 16GB RAM. That's Samsung trying to balance casual Netflix and Notes. Users with full-on Photoshop warriors, the Ultra packs an 11. 600 mAh battery, that's for 100 mAh more than last year. Sounds great, right? Well, charging is still for 5W. This is fine, until you realize the Galaxy S26 Ultra is sipping juice at 60W translation. The Tab S11 Ultra might take a few minutes longer than the Tab S10 Ultra's 1 hour 40 minute charge. Time, not tragic, but heavy users might feel it, okay? Samsung fans, brace yourselves. The visible S Pen slot marking on the back, gone. The magnets might now be hidden for a cleaner design. Or Samsung could be repositioning it entirely, the worrying part. Rumors say Bluetooth support might be removed, turning it into a purely passive stylus. If you're an artist, designer, or PowerPoint ninja who loves remote functions, that's like taking the cheese out of a cheeseburger. Sure, it's still a burger, but is it really the same? Those chunky camera rings from older models? Gone, in their place, a flat, flush layout that's more in line with Samsung's newer smartphones. It looks cleaner, sleeker, and won't wobble on a desk. Small win for the OCD crowd. Here's the big twist. The Tab S11 Ultra is running. On MediaTek's Dimensity 9000 for 100 plus. Early benchmarks show around 1,600 single-core and 8,000 multi-core scores. That's a noticeable boost over last year's Snapdragon Power Tab S10 Ultra. But still not quite at Snapdragon 8 Elite levels for everyday multitasking, media consumption, and even creative work, you'll be fine. But hardcore gamers and performance purists might still lean Snapdragon. Insiders expect the Tab S11 series to drop in late August or September 2025. Perfect timing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Apple's fall iPad Pro refresh, and here's the corporate plot twist alongside this launch. Samsung is reportedly replacing the standard Galaxy S26 with a Galaxy S26 Pro, signaling a bigger push into Pro branding across the board, refined design, slimmer bezels, cleaner notch, flatter back, stylus shakeup, the S Pen's fate could make or break it for creatives. Balance performance, great speed, even if not the absolute king, battery trade-off, bigger sell. Same old 45 West Limit. Strategic timing, positioned perfectly to challenge Apple head dash on. So, the Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra isn't about reinventing the wheel. It's about making the wheel sharper, smoother, and just a bit more stylish. But whether that's enough to earn a spot in your tech bag, that's your call. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want more deep dives into upcoming tech, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And when you're done here, check out my Galaxy S26 Ultra Preview and Apple iPad Pro 2025 rumors. Both linked right here on the end screen.